Okay guys, so to start off this super wearable St. Patrick's Day makeup, the first thing that I did was just go ahead and do my brows and I've got my eyes primed and ready to go. Now I'm going to take this shade right here from the Kat Von D palette called Killing Jar and I'm going to put that into my crease for the transition shade. And to do that, I'm going to use this LA Colors Professional Eyeshadow Blending Brush. I actually really like this brush. So I'm just going to put this right up here in my transition area and this is going to help all the other colors blend out later. I'm taking it almost all the way up to the brow bone. Y'all can see my little face demon is trying to come out. Um, Alright, then I'm going to take this shade right here which is called Papilio and I'm going to put that into the crease as well and I'm just going to use the same brush but I'm going to keep it farther out and a little bit lower. I'm also going to bring this one in on the inner corner for a bit of a halo eye. So that's what we're looking like right now. I'm actually going to pick up my crease brush here and I'm going to start using this now just to help really concentrate the color into that crease. And then I'm going to pick up another blending brush and I'm just going to go around these edges. Okay and then right in the center of the eye, I don't really know if we're going to call this a halo eye or a spotlight eye. But I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to place that right into the center of the eyelid and make sure to blend out these edges. And then while that concealer is still sticky, I'm going to take a lime green eyeshadow and pack right over the top of it. And then to deepen that up, I'm going to take this green shade right here and I'm going to put it right around the edges of that lighter green shade to help blend it into this really dark color. And then while I have it out, I'm actually going to take that darker green color and I'm going to put it right on my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to line the waterline with some black liner. And then for mascara, I'm going to try out the Stila Huge Lash Mascara. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do liner yet. We're going to wait until after we do mascara and then we will decide. Alright, for lips, we're just going to stick with a nude because there's quite a bit going on with the eyes and I'm not sure if we're done yet. But um, I'm just going to use the shade plush from Unique. It is just a nude lip liner and that's all I'm going to wear on there. Alright and then I do think I want to throw a gloss over the top of that so I'm going to take my lucrative lip gloss in the shade Loyal. And then I also feel like I kind of want to add a touch of glitter so I've got this hard candy glitter liner and I'm just going to take some out of the tube and place it onto the back of my hand like so and then I'm going to pick it up on my fingertip and just put it right here on the eyelid just to give a little bit of glitter. Alright, and that is going to be it for this St. Patrick's Day inspired makeup. I really hope you guys enjoy this one and find it to be quite wearable. You could definitely add to it or take away from it if you want to and just use whatever products that you have on hand. But most of these are pretty easy to come by. So hopefully this helps somebody and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave if you have not already and always be you. Bye guys.